This video is part of our series of videos on picture framing. In this video, we'll show you how to use Batch Framer. Batch Framer is a very useful tool for anyone preparing a series of framed options for designers, saving them for a, a website or a catalog. To start, we select Batch Framer on the mode shortcut, mode, Batch Framer. If you can see from the form here, there's a column for your images, column for the framing options, and then the out them or the output options here. So let's grab a image or a group of images, our, our files, and let's just open all these files and set the dimensions. Okay. Now let's we can we can review the files right in batch framer. So let's frame this one <coughs> and this one here. Then we delete the unselected. For the framing options, we can pick our frames from the molding database. From our frames database, these are ready-made frames from our project list these uh, this is a list of the projects we've done before and we can open up uh, galleries that we've saved let's go to our project list here and we can view previous projects that we've done uh, you can't use multiple openings i should uh, should indicate that so let's pick three projects that we've done before. And again, we delete the unselected. Now the question is, where do we want to output and in what format? We're going to save it as a file. We also have the option of saving it as a high res, res image, which you'd use for catalog work. Uh, a naming preference with a reference to the image and a frame reference and a numeric value which is auto-generated. The format of our files that we're going to output are the JPEG, PNG, bitmap or a TIFF. I should indicate if you're going to output as a high-res uh, uh, image you do have options on the resolution. But in this case, we're just going to output as a regular file. Then the output directory. You can you should create a new directory to which you're going to save these files. Never output them to your um, desktop. In some cases, you'll be outputting hundreds of, of, uh, of images you don't want your desktop uh, cluttered that way. Demos, and we'll make a new folder. Batch one test. And confirm. There it says. So we have two images, three framing options, which two by three means we'll end up with six uh, images and just select or start and click the option all listed images and framing options use if unselected choices have been deleted which we've done and then continue and it's done now we can view the output And we'll go to thumbnails, and there are the thumbnails of the six options that we just created. Just double click on one, and 
and there's the image that we framed using batch framer and there are six v different images and that was done really you know when you're familiar with a program it'll take you one minute and you can output uh, hundreds of images make sure that your, that your computer has the power uh, to be able to process um, uh, like many images to process uh, six or a dozen doesn't take much but if you're going to try to process uh, many images um, watch the power that's required that's how simple and powerful batch framer is uh, please give it a try you can download a 30-day trial of custom framer from our website www.artframer.com batch framer is an add-on to custom framer